Hello, welcome to another video. Today we'll be talking about Harry Styles. So Harry Styles, we know him, we love him, and more importantly, if you're watching this video, you probably want to look like him. Well, look no further, because this video will be your Harry Styles cheat sheet of the decade. So the difficulty I had when coming out of this video is that Harry has such a diverse sense of style that it's very hard for anyone to just pinpoint what he does to a certain genre of fashion, so to speak. But if I were to summarize it, I would say it's very clean and very, very 70s inspired. So when doing my Pinterest deep dive, most of the photos I've seen of Harry were of him in very beautiful suiting, but like myself, most of you probably lack that in your wardrobe. So it got me thinking, how can I still show you Harry Styles inspired outfits without the use of much suiting? So instead, what I came up with was to categorize his looks into different concepts and with the very small wardrobe that I have, try to show you examples of how these concepts can be done. Ready? Let's go! Alright, let's start off with one of my favourite concepts in this video and in fact it has been something that I've really been implementing in my own styling for quite a while now and that would be the use of a tank top as an inner layer. Essentially what it is, is to replace your plain t-shirts that most of us use as inner layers with a tank top or what some of you will call a vest. Uh, what this does is that it gives your outfit a more retro 70s vintage kind of feel and I think it's a pretty good way to add some interest to your outfit. Uh. Um, so let's just see what we came up with right now. It seems Harry really loves wearing his browns, so I decided to give it a go here as well. I have on a Uniqlo ripped tank top tucked into a pair of brown white leg trousers. I decided to go slightly more tonal with this and threw on a chalky light brown hysteric glamour bowling shirt up top. For shoes, honestly anything goes here. Personally, for my own style, I usually throw on a pair of boots, but from the photos it seems Harry usually throws on a pair of low top shoes in outfits like this. So I decided to do so as well with a pair of white trainers. The beauty of this look is that you can literally throw on anything up top and it would still work for the most part. You'll see this concept coming in again later on in the video. So this is a pretty simple and wearable look for most of us out there. With no prints and patterns, the garments required for this outfit should be pretty easy to find. The general idea behind this outfit would be to focus on the flowy nature of the entire look. It would seem that Harry tends to wear a lot of wider silhouette trousers or even flat trousers to achieve this particular look. Also, his shirts tend to have a slight sheen to them, so they could probably be made out of something like a satin. But in general for the tops, you should look for something flowier and softer, such as materials like uh, silk, maybe viscose and even rayon. To achieve the flowy look, I decided to throw on my Acne Studios khaki flat trousers. I got these during the Essence sale last year and I believe they are from Spring Summer 20, but don't quote me on that. Up top, I have a Uniqlo Woman's rayon white shirt. I preach this shirt to literally everyone asking me where to get flowy shirts. The shirt itself is pretty accessible given how it's part of their staple collection and there's also a multitude of colours. Price-wise, it's pretty reasonable as well at about $36 and oftentimes these go on sale. Finally, for shoes, I have on my SLP wired harness boots. And oh yes, I decided to fold up the sleeves of the shirt just to give it a little hairy flair. In my opinion, this is the perfect date night outfit when you want to dress up but still look relaxed and laid back at the same time. This is just a little something to spice up a rather common outfit out there. In a lot of the photos I saw of Harry, he seems to have a lot of uh, checkered trousers in his outfits. In fact, uh, I've also noticed that he tends to incorporate more than one type of checkered pattern into a good number of his outfits. Unfortunately, my wardrobe is not able to do so right now, but uh, right here I'll compensate by doing just a little bit of suiting. Right here I have on a pair of Dries Van Noten orange checkered 
flat trousers. Oh fuck, that was a mouthful, but yeah. Uh, trousers are a really loud statement piece. So to tone it down, I just simply tucked in a ripped tank top from Uniqlo and threw on a vintage corduroy blazer I got from my dad. The blazer is something I find pretty interesting just because it has some faded details throughout and also it has slightly padded shoulders. I think the corduroy texture on the blazer kind of plays a little bit on the idea of clashing patterns given how from far away it may seem like vertical stripes but then again it's a texture so I don't know. Oh and you see what I did there, I used the tank top idea from before and threw it into this outfit. It just shows how transferable some of these concepts are throughout different outfits. This is an easy everyday outfit which still looks very put together. It is generally characterized by a plain white t-shirt and a coloured trouser. I can e easily imagine myself throwing this on and going for a quick coffee run or brunch. Well, the look is simple, Harry kind of elevates it by stuff like tying a bandana around his neck and um, the many tattoos he has which I currently don't also add on to the look. Also, his nice flowy hair also adds on to the very laid back vibes the outfit already gives. Sticking to the theme of wider, more relaxed silhouettes, I threw on a pair of white leg corduroy trousers in a beautiful mossy green colour. These were thrifted back in Thailand and shit, I really can't wait for COVID to be over so I can go back there again. Like how I mentioned earlier, I kept the rest of the fit pretty simple. I just tucked in a regular plain white t-shirt and tied a bandana around my neck, which actually is pretty something pretty new for me. A pair of loafers here would be perfect in my opinion, but right now I don't own any, so I'm just gonna roll with my SLP Wyatts once again. Finally, how can we talk about Harry Styles without mentioning the iconic boots and skinny jeans look from his younger days? This is an SLP inspired rockstar kind of look from way back in the day, but don't get me wrong, it still looks really really good and I still do it from time to time. In fact, this SLP inspired kind of look was what got me interested into fashion in the first place. The pieces required for this are actually pretty simple and pretty accessible, so I think almost everyone out there can actually pull off and recreate a similar vibe. All you need to achieve this look is a pair of skinny jeans and some slick boots. Up top, I generally like to keep it more flowy and loose to give off more of a laid back rockstar kind of vibe. But in all honesty, anything goes here and I'm going to show you a few different options. In fact, you can very easily build an entire wardrobe just using this concept given how accessible the pieces are. So right here, we have a short sleeve viscose polka dot shirt from Top Man. In my opinion, this is a great look for you know a night out or drinks with the boys. So switching it up, we now have a layered look. Taking the earlier tank top concept, I threw a Uniqlo tank top underneath a vintage denim jacket to give it more of a slightly grungier look. Finally, a little something for the cozier, chillier days. I threw on an oversized jumper to go along with the whole rockstar vibe that we are trying to portray here. I would say this is an easy concept to pull off since you could literally do anything up top and it still works. So there you have it, your very own Harry Styles cheat sheet. I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I did making it. Uh, if you did, please uh, share the video, uh, give it a like and subscribe and you know comment down your thoughts below man. Uh, with that, I think we're done. Bye!